mistakenly think that faith can't be based on reason and evidence. That's simply not true. The Catholic position is that faith works in cooperation with reason and that reason and evidence can lead us to prudently make an act of faith. In other words, there's a certain rational foundation to Catholicism at the most fundamental level. Philosophical reason, apart from faith, can demonstrate that God exists. We can look at certain effects in the world, like the existence of the contingent universe itself, the physical order that pervades our universe, or the existence of moral obligation in our conscience. We can look at these things, we can look at these effects, and then reason back to God as the only adequate explanation for these effects. And that tells us that that God exists, you see. But we're not done here, because after all, which God are we talking about? Which God is it? Is it the God of Islam, the God of Hinduism? Which God do we mean here? Well, that brings us to step two of the Catholic apologetical method that shows that Christ is that God. And what we mean here is that God has definitively revealed himself in the person of Jesus Christ. And history shows us that Christ claimed to be divine, right? And if he was wrong about that, then he was either lying or insane. But more importantly, not only did he make this claim, but he also backed it up. He backed it up by fulfilling prophecies and performing miracles, most notably his resurrection from the dead. And it's these divine acts, right? These divine acts are the surest signs that point to the divine origin of the Christian religion. So we can know that God exists, we can know that Christ is that God, but even then we're not done because after all, there are a lot of different Christian denominations out there that teach contradictory doctrines. Which one of them is true, right? Which one of these denominations truly represents the teachings of Christ. And this brings us to step three of the Catholic apologetical method that Christ established one authoritative church. Historical evidence shows that the real and historical Christ personally instituted the church to be the guardian and teacher of the revealed word and that this church was built upon Peter, the leader of the apostolic hierarchy and his successors for the duration of time. Now, this doesn't mean that reason can prove everything that Catholics believe. There is always a need for faith. But what it does mean is that the act of faith is by no means a blind impulse of the mind.